welcome to the Butterfly Boudoir. I am Madam Butterfly and today we are doing a hair review. Y'all, I am so excited. It has been a minute since I have done a hair review. So we're going to go ahead and get into this thing. Okay, so today's wig is from itsawig.com. Come, okay, I will be putting this link down below in the description box and the specific link for the wig that I'm going to be reviewing. Okay, so today's wig is the style Edgar, okay, and the color is FF Honey Blonde, all right? This wig does not have any lace. It's not a lace front wig. However, it does have lace going down the center part. That is the only part of the wig that has lace. Now, this wig does come in different colors. I have the Honey Blonde, but it also comes in auburn brown, creamy latte, purple black, burgundy red, orange, copper, and natural 1B, okay? So if the Honey Blonde that I got does not tickle your fancy, there are several other colors that you can try. It also came with this tag saying that the wig is tangle free. I don't know if you guys can see that, but we are going to see if this wig is in fact tangle free. Now the wig in question, Edgar, is right here now as you can see this is a beautiful wig right this is a beautiful gorgeous wig i love the color the color is pop okay so it starts off with the darker tones at the top and then it goes into the lighter honey blonde towards the bottom okay so at the front you can see that it does start um, the pieces in the front are the darker brown and then it has a strip of the light honey blonde on the sides and then it goes into a complete darkness at the top and then the honey blonde at the bottom. So I do like how they did that little strip of honey blonde in between the darker tones. So that is very cute. Now I did tell you that this does have lace going down the center part and that is all so uh, if you look from the inside, you can see the lace going down the center. Hope you guys can see that. That is the only part of the wig that has lace to it. All right. It does have two clips at the top. All right. There's no clips at the bottom, but there is the elastic band at the bottom for you to adjust. Um, this is a very nice wig. I really do like it. It does come with a few baby hairs in the front. Not too many. They're very, very tiny. Like, I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm trying to put my hand there so you guys can see, but you really have to like pull the hairs back so you can see the actual baby hairs. Once you have the wig on, you can really kind of see the baby hairs a little bit. You have to kind of pull them down so you can see it. But all in all, this is a really nice wig. Now I have tried this on, I haven't styled it or anything, but I did try it on. And this really is like a shake and go type of wig. Just throw it on and you can really go. Um, I actually will not be using any type of glue or any spray because this fits really snug on my head actually um, and it feels quite secure without any type of bonding so um, I'm not going to be using that but that's not to say that you don't or can't um, it's really up to you but for me it feels very secure without it um, now the lace in the front by the center I have seen some people cut that into like a V shape to kind of give it a more natural look, but I don't think I'll be needing to do that, but we will see once I put it on and show you guys. So again, let's look into this curl pattern. Let's look into this color. Do you see it? Are you living for it? Yes. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put it on and style it and talk about it. All right, so if you are ready, you know I'm ready. Let's get into it!
look. I absolutely love how it turned out. So as you can see, um, it came with some baby hairs and I gelled them down a little bit and I tied up my hair, but honestly, I didn't keep it tied down long enough. <laughs> but I mean, y'all can kind of see what it will look like. But um, I absolutely love how it turned out. Okay, so you guys saw how it looked just straight out of the package. I brushed it, no products, and it kind of gave you that big curl look, right? Most of the time when you brush out curls, it makes them look even bigger and more flowy and bouncy. And I absolutely loved that, okay? And then I put mousse in to show you guys how it would look if you wanted to go for it more flatter, wet type of look. Um, if you want to go for an even more wet look, I would use the Garnier Fruit Tea Style Curl Shape Defining Spray Gel. Whenever I want to go for the wet look and I want it to last for hours, I use mousse and I use this Curl Shape Spray Gel. Um, and then I blow dry it and that gives me that wet look that I want all day. Um, so, I just added the mousse to this, but if I added the gel spray as well, it would have given me an even more defined curl look. But I just wanted to give you guys a glimpse of what the wet look would look like if you wanted to get more of that type of look. And now you know what it looks like, just no product, just brushing it and giving you that bouncier big look okay i love this guys um as you can see with the part in the middle i tried to pluck it a little bit to make the part a little bit wider it gets a little bit narrow as you get more towards the center um, of the wig it starts out a little wide but then it gets even more narrow as you go back so i just parted that a little bit more and then i put my concealer on to give it that more natural look um as you can see you can brush your hair um you can brush your hair. You can run your fingers through this hair, no problem. So that tangle free sticker that I showed you earlier is in fact true, okay? Um, I did not experience any tangling uh, when I was brushing. I didn't experience anything shedding. Um, the hair that is in the brush comes from when I was plucking the part and then I brushed out the hair that I plucked. So that was the only uh, hair in the brush. Other than that, I have no complaints about this wig, y'all. I really, really don't. Like I said, it came with uh, a few baby hairs. I showed it to you guys. But you can always make your own baby hairs. It's, it's not hard to make baby hairs. Just cut, you know, a few strands. Um, but like I said, I didn't keep my hair tied down long enough. So the baby hairs didn't really stay. But, you know, if you want to do baby hair, you can. If not, then, you know, just work the part and just rock it uh, naturally, okay? So I love this, guys. I hope you guys like it. If you do, the link is down below in the description box. Please go check out itsawig.com and purchase this. I love this color. I cannot wait to see what it looks like in the sunlight, but there you go. Hope you guys liked it. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button. If you like to leave me a comment, please feel free to do so down below. Let me know which look you prefer, the dried, bouncy, big curl look or the more uh, laid down, flat, wet look. And if you are not a fly girl yet, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to the channel. You guys can also follow me and add me on Instagram and Snapchat at madam underscore butterfly. All right, guys, until the next time, please remember, stay focused, stay laughing, stay yourself, stay fly.